G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Guess what today is? It's Bloom Day. Yay! 3D Bloom Day. Now, um, this is my new Mystique Coaster Mold. And I do have a matching Mystique Tray Mold, which you probably would have seen me do a similar uh, 3D Bloom in recently. But today it's the Coaster Mold. Now, I have got the Pro Marine tabletop resin um, I put I, I measured out a hundred grams and uh, I put it in a in a little cup and I heated it up because it's really cold now where I am um, in Queensland Australia it's getting really cold at night and the part a is so thick like you can hardly stir it and then when you do it's got so many bubbles in it so I decided I would just heat part A I didn't mix the two together and heat both because then that starts the chemical reaction and they start to cure so I just heated part A um, just in hot tap water and then when it was sort of feeling nice and soft or thinnish then um, I added 90 grams of part B so 100 grams of part A 90 grams of part B and that is what I've got I just have to make sure I'm leaving enough for the top um, and then yeah I let it just sit for 10 minutes so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do pink yellow and blue I'm just looking across the top to make sure that they're all kind of even All right that'll do that'll do um, now uh, I've kept 40 grams in here for my white and we'll need to just pop a few bubbles and I can see there's bubbles clinging to the edges there as well but I'll just give them a minute just to settle while I do the white now I'm using the just resin titanium white and I'm going to give it a good little stir it's really thick Thick and pasty, hey, it's a paste, <laughs> pigment paste. So I'm just going to give that a good stir and then I'm going to wipe my stick all over. You can see how claggy it is. Try and get as much off as I can and the rest's going in there. So we'll see what that looks like. Just keeping an eye on the time. It does feel warm already <laughs> because I did warm part A. Um, so I, I let it sit for... 10 minutes then I decant and then I pipe seven minutes later so basically I let it sit for 17 minutes now I'm just going to change my stick because I can't see what that's looking like because it's all got white on it from the paste so I didn't wipe the sides of that stick because it had a lot of paste stuck still stuck onto it you still want to be able to see through the white onto your stick. Mm, it's looking a little bit on the heavy side, but <laughs> oh gosh. I'm a bit out of practice with my blooms. I've been doing the Larimar for so long now. I'm a bit behind with my blooms, but anyway, it should be okay. So that's it there. Um, oh, where am I going for my time? I've still got a bit of time to wait. So. What you need to do is, once that's organised, I actually probably should put your um, inks in first and let them settle. I normally do that. See, I've forgotten already. I've forgotten what I need to do. Let's just get these little bubbles out. They're kind of sticking, sticking to the edges there. Mm. It's not too many. I just sort of pull them into the middle and then I can zap them with my torch or you can use a heat gun. If you're using a torch, just use a little tiny one. Don't use a huge flamethrower on it. <laughs> okay. All right, that'll do. Just my little torch, as opposed to my big torch. Just the little one. And don't go near the edges. Just sort of go into the middle. You don't want to be burning your edges. All right, that'll do. All right, I'll come back in a few minutes. For the next step forgot that I needed to do my inks let's do the inks let's do the inks so these are just little cheapy ones from Amazon 
hopefully they'll spread. I do love the Let's Resin um, inks, but in saying that, it's going to do two yellow in each. Because they're so highly concentrated with less alcohol, they don't spread as much as the cheapy ones that don't have as much alcohol in them, if you know what I mean. Okay, pink, 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 pink. So just yellow, blue, pink I'm going to do. Um, I'll do that as well. You can kind of follow the shape of the mold, which is really nice. Um, I kind of designed this mold with the 3D blooms in mind so that it's easy to easy to do, you know. So you can basically just, you know, where there's a point like that, you can add one colour and then when there's the little point coming in, like a little dip here, you add your other colour. So it's it's pretty easy to do. I find anyway. And maybe for people that are new at 3D blooms. Now I don't want to put too much colour in and I'm only going to go around the outside like this because as you can see already the colours are pushing in. Uh, resin does that. These two are kind of backwards <laughs> but, but that's fine. You can still do the same thing. They're just, just backwards. Opposite, I should say. Now this one here is touching the mould, which is okay. Some of them are touching the mould. Um, so that's that's those down there. Um, oh gosh, what are they? Limono or something like that. Just El Cheapies from Amazon. Okay, so that's ready. Now I'm going to pour the white into my little piping bag here. So I did mix up 40 grams, well, I put in 40 grams, so it's basically 10 grams per cavity, coaster cavity. These are about 11 and a half to 12 centimetres wide, so they're a, a nice size, not too big, not too small. Okay, and my time is up, my 17 minutes is up, my resin's feeling nice and warm. I'm just going to twist that. It feels warm. It doesn't feel hot. It feels warm. Like a nice warm bath would feel. I'm going to snip the end off that. Okay, it's probably a little bit too big. Okay, anyway, here we go. Here we go. We are going to do some... Oh, now, this is the other thing I want to do. I want to start with my spiral here. I'm going to leave some room in the middle for my little dots. Have you guys been enjoying my little dots that I've been doing for my my centers okay let's start there so just around where the yellow starts I might have made the little hole a bit big I'm not squeezing at all I'm just it's just dripping out around we go Try not to go too fast because then your little lines will be quite thin instead of nice thick lines. Now I'll just wind this back up. I'm not going to use all of it. Round we go. And stop. This one needs a little bit more on this side for some reason. Don't know why. <laughs> okay, there we go. So it didn't didn't use it all. Probably don't need four forty grams. But um, you know, rather have a little bit. Oh, gosh, I forgot. I forgot my middle, guys. I forgot my middle. Now, with before I go any further, I'm just going to just fix my little blobs here. See, that's a big blob there. I'm going to try and smooth that out. Smooth out your blobs at the beginning and at the end because they could be a little bit heavier. All right, now before I do my blobs, my, my dots, I'm gonna put that to side. Now, again, you can follow the um, the little dips here and I'll follow it because I'll, where the points are out like that, I'll do out. So in, 
in, I'm not going to worry about wiping, I better get a riddle on, in, in, and then out, 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 and out. Okay, there we go. So in, you get the general idea of what I'm doing. I just feel as if my resin's thickening up a little bit. I haven't I haven't used like I haven't warmed it before, so I'm not exactly sure if it's going to like increase my resin setting time. But because I heated part A, it, it may well do. I'm just not sure. So I'm just yeah, just get a little riddle on here. I don't want to go right into the middle because I want to do my little dotty centers so i don't want to do all right there we go that's done okay beautiful 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 now let's wind this back up again my white it's feeling a bit sticky hopefully it's still going to work just do five like that or five or six we'll see how we go okay just working fast I just don't want my resin to set up on me now I am also going to just get my heat gun out and just give it a bit of a just a bit of heat just to sort of keep it moving and I guess this is a little practice because I'm just like I said I'm just not sure whether or not me heating that resin up at the beginning is going to be a problem with this setting up faster I may need to um, take a few minutes off my timing if I'm going to do that but this will just be a little practice to see if I need to do anything like that to it but heating it up generally just kind of makes it a bit thinner. I think that'll do. Makes your resin a little bit thinner, thinner so that it can move. You want it to move. All right, we'll see how that goes. All right, clean up my mess. Um, hopefully it still will work. Took me a little while to do all that and then drop the, the colors, uh, the little dots in the middle. Now I'm just gonna clean up. Um, once that has cured, I'm going to come back and I'm going to backfill it with a bit of purple. Really transparent though, um, transparent purple background. So I will see you. It looks as if it's working. It looks as if it's working. Yay, yay, yay. I'm going to clean up my mold, pack away, um, and then I will see you uh, for the top coat shortly. Let's have a little look. See if it's closing, it looks as if it's all closing in. Yay, yay, yay. Had, it had me really worried there for a minute because it was kind of feeling sticky when I was doing those little dots in the middle. I'm thinking, oh gosh, it's quite thick and sticky, but oh, hopefully it'll work okay. All right, see you shortly for the next coat. Okay, so these have set enough. See, they, they're touch dry, so they're not. You know, you know, you can't unmold them yet, but um, you can certainly put the top coat on. So this is just the purple in the same brand. Uh, Limano, Limano, something like that. Okay, so I don't want it very dark. I'll just try... I don't know if I can put it there. I'll try two. Probably won't be enough. I'll just go easy on them. <laughs> oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I can't see it at all. <laughs> okay. Um, let's, let's not do that. It's funny, some colours are like that, aren't they? Let's go to the Let's Resin Purple. I know that's going to be nice and dark. Just put one in and see how that goes. Look at the difference, eh? See, this is why, you, you know, you pay a little bit of extra for a good quality. Oh, my dogs. Someone here at the front door. See, that's one drop and look at it. I know it looks darker, though, because it's in the cup there. But um, hopefully once it's, you know, on a little tiny 
It's only going to be a very thin amount. I probably made up way too much. Now, this is the Platinum 360 Plus because I know it's going to set up nice and fast. And um, I'll be able to unmold all of these later on today. So here we go. Is it going to be dark enough? Is it going to be dark enough, though? Might not be. Oh, no, it's not. All right. It's not. It's I normally do this. I normally test it this way, but I didn't do it this time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Making a mess. I just pour a little bit there and that's the colour that it is. So let me clean up my mess. Okay. <laughs> totally distracted and frazzled by people at the front door. Dogs are barking. Trying to do a video. Oh my gosh. All right. So um, let's put, I'll put one more drop in. So that's two drops of the purple. But yeah, it's always a good idea to test it on a little piece of paper towel first, just so that you can see, you know, what the colour's going to do. And this is a really pretty colour, this one. Happy with it because it always, you know, when it's deeper like this, it always looks darker. That's why it's a good idea just to pop it on some paper towel and we'll see what it's going to do. So it's not going to be very deep. It's probably going to be like that. So I think that would be... I think that'll be nice. You want it dark enough so that your your petals, you know, pop against the colour, but um, not too, too dark. I'm going to add just a, see if I can get like half a drop in, half a drop. I'll put it on, what I'll do is I'll put it on the stick like that and just let it run down. That way I can get a little bit. That's how, that's how you get half a drop, you guys, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Half a drop, so the rest of it's on the stick. So if you want any more of it, you can always, you know, use, do that and, and get the colour off the stick. But I don't want to get any more off, I don't think. Let's test that little bit now. Yep, seems fine. Okay, I will get that last little bit off. Oh my gosh. Trials and tribulations of trying to do a video. So yeah, it does look quite, pretty dark in there, but... And you don't want any streaks, so make sure that you haven't got any streaks in your colour. All right, here we go. Let's try again. <laughs> All right, it's going to pop a little bit in the centre and let it spread to the outside. There's not much room at all. As in, you know, it's not very... Haven't got much room left for the resin. Don't want to put too much in or else it might overflow. So let's just... You can just leave it and let the resin find its own way but you can also just give it a little bit of a helping hand. I sort of just push from here and it kind of makes a little wave out towards the outside there. I think that'll be a pretty colour but I did want it transparent. You're not, probably not going to really see much of it at all actually just the edges because the petals have really closed up a lot so you're probably not going to see much purple at all. Um, yeah my my lines were quite thick, so everything's closed up really, really well. Uh, if you do want more gaps between your petals, then make your lines thinner and also f have more space between your lines. Uh, if you do want to have some more background showing. But look, the resin will just do what the resin wants to do. If it wants to close up, it'll close up. <laughs> All right. It's going to divide this out, what's left. This one's almost gone to the edges. And then that's pretty much it done, you guys, until later on today. So, yeah, so this was uh, 75 grams of A, 32 grams of B, and that's enough to do that. So, um, yeah, I'll see you all a bit later for the unmolding. Okay, so it's uh, later on the same day, uh, 9 p.m. it is, and these are ready. Probably a little bit bendy still, but they'll be fine for demolding. Um, what can I put you down on? Oh, just, just leave you there. That'll be fine. <laughs> It's just that you can't leave them like that for too long because they'll start <laughs> bending down uh, following the shape of the mould. So probably should have waited for the morning, but look, 
It's the same old, same old. You know me. I have to do it tonight. I can't wait for tomorrow. Now, I am just going to put a little bit of white paper over the back like that, just so that I'm not looking at all this background stuff as well. Okay? Okay. Do you think it's worked? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing my centers. All right, here we go. And let's do the countdown. One, two, three. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. <laughs> Look at my yellow. It's like a star shape. And then I've got those gorgeous little, is, are those stamens <laughs> in the center? Wow. And just a little bit of purple around the outside. Not much at all. So very delicate looking, isn't it? So that's without, that's without the white. It's not a lot of difference, really. It just saves you looking at all that background stuff. All right, I can put this one down now. Clean the bench. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Oh, I've got a few little are they bubbles. No, a little bit of overflow there. But you see how, oh, I'll show you on this one. See how they've closed up so much? You can't really see much of the background, which is what I was saying to you earlier. Ta-da, there's another one. <laughs> oh, the middle's not quite as good on this one. Got a little bit of a lopsided one there. Oh, they're so pretty. What do you think of the colours? Yellow, pink, blue and a bit of purple. They're really pretty, aren't they? But um, you can see everything's everything's kind of closed up. I'm glad it closed up. Like <laughs> I was worried that it wasn't going to work, so uh, I'm glad it's closed up. All right. And the next one. Oh, that one's really pretty too. Look, we've got all of them in the centre. That's so, so pretty. <gasps> What do you think? You could actually take them out like a little bit earlier and then like bend them into a little trinket bowls. That would be really sweet as well. Let's put them here now. We can look at them. Okay, last one. Lucky last. Have you got a favourite? Have you got a favourite one? And last one. And there we go. <laughs> These ones are kind of pointing out that way. Oh, I'm so glad it's worked. And the colours are really pretty, really, really summery. I think, um, I think this one, I think this is my favourite. It's very symmetrical looking. Pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. Blue, pink. <laughs> nice yellow in the middle and all my little flowery things in the middle. So I think that's really pretty. Yep, I do like that one. <laughs> Okay, um, let me know what you think of these. Uh, I'll take a photo outside. Not much difference, I guess. Mm, yeah, just a little bit of purple. I do also want to do, by other colours, I want to do yellow, a light purple and a dark purple, and then like, do a blue background. So I think that'll be coming up soon too. So, oh, so glad they worked. All right, thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, stick around. Follow me. <laughs> um, you never know what I'm going to come up with every day. Always something different on this channel. All right. Thanks for watching. See you all for the next video. Bye for now.